dear students welcome back to our class 2 that is basics 2 of climate change now in this class we are going to discuss global warming through greenhouse effect and summary of evidence of climate change these two are uh, very important both from understanding the climate change and from your examination point of view also once again i would like to impress upon you we are discussing global warming through greenhouse effect and summary of evidence of climate change okay now before we enter into the class i just would like to impress upon you with a good quote from honorable apj abdul kalam ji It is, <clears throat> we are all born with a divine fire in us. Our effort should be to give wings to this fire. It's a wonderful quote from APJ Abdul Kalam ji. Now, so let us go to our class. So, this is a climate change basics 2 class in which the first thing we are understanding is uh, global warming through greenhouse effect. Now, if you just uh, go back to our basics one, there I said greenhouse effect, global warming. Under a separate heading like uh, global processes, causes of climate change. So, here I am giving explanation for uh, global warming through greenhouse effect. What exactly is greenhouse effect? Nearly one third of the solar energy that reaches the top of the Earth's atmosphere is reflected directly back to the space. Say for example, 100 units are coming from the sun. One third is sent back or reflected directly back to the space by the atmosphere. Out of the remaining two-thirds, most of it is absorbed by the earth. It is said that approximately 48% of it is absorbed and to a, a little extent, you know, it is absorbed by the uh, atmosphere. Now, what is happening is uh, the energy that is reaching on the earth, that is 48%, is causing some sort of warming of the soil surface. Now, as per the basic physical principle, to balance the absorbed incoming energy, the earth must radiate the same amount of energy back to space. Whatever is coming should go back. Otherwise, only entering of uh, atmosphere, reaching the earth surface in no reflected back energy by earth causes warming, warming, warming only. So, to balance the absorbed incoming energy, the earth must radiate the same amount of energy back to the space. However, the earth is much colder than the sun. It radiates at much longer wavelengths. It is primarily in the infrared part of the solar spectrum. We discussed in the solar spectrum, solar radiation, all these points. Again, I would like to impress upon you. There we discussed what is solar spectrum. In the solar spectrum, much of this infrared radiation, that is the thermal radiation emitted by the land and ocean is absorbed by the atmosphere, including clouds. And it is radiated back to the earth. So, this is called a greenhouse effect. Simply, whatever is emitted by the land and ocean is absorbed by the atmosphere, including the clouds and radiated back to the earth. This is called as the greenhouse effect. This is essential. This is most essential. Why? To maintain certain temperatures, Optimum for human beings, animals and crops, 
this greenhouse effect is essential however due to climate change what is happening is enhanced greenhouse effect is going on now without the natural greenhouse effect the average temperature at the earth's surface would be below the freezing point of water thus the earth's natural greenhouse effect makes life possible however some of the human activities as i said land use change and fossil fuel burning etc are causing global warming the two most abundant gases in the atmosphere that is the nitrogen approximately 75 78% of dry atmosphere and oxygen comprising 21% of the dry atmosphere exert no no and no greenhouse effect however greenhouse effect comes from molecules that are more complex much less common okay what are those carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrofluorocarbon fluorocarbon what not methane nitrous oxide etc 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 so the global warming is causing changes in innumerable weather elements temperature changes precipitation changes extreme event changes global warming is also causing ice caps melting cloud cover changes monsoon disturbances those things which i explained in the climate change basics one okay just uh, to give two line explanation for greenhouse effect at global warming i would like to say that sun's energy is uh, passing through the atmosphere some part is reflected by the atmosphere before entering into it and some part is coming on to the earth surface once it is coming on to the earth surface it has to go again back to the space however it is not going because of the presence of the clouds dust particles aerosols and sent back this is very essential for maintenance of life on the earth however due to land use change and fossil fuel burning many innumerable okay molecules which are more complex and much which are much less common are causing enhanced greenhouse effect thanking you this is what uh, i would like to impress upon the uh, global warming through greenhouse effect the remaining part of our class uh, we are going to discuss uh, very interesting very very interesting uh, to understand the climate change and also from your examination point of view that is the summary of evidence of climate change what we are discussing the summary of evidence of climate change now climate is constantly changing the signals which indicate the changes are occurring can be evaluated over a range of temporal and spatial scales temporal means time spatial means area okay now <clears throat> the minimum area for climate change evaluation is uh, minimum 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 most 100 square kilometer area or a minimum period of 30 years this is how we can okay climate change estimate can be done now what are the evidences of climate change for easy understanding and for you to write very easily in the examination i tried to give the summary of evidence under small subheadings like temperature changes on the earth precipitation changes on the earth extreme event changes on the earth greenhouse gases changes on the earth and finally sea level rising okay these are all the things that are easily understand and easily written when you are asked a question in your exam now the first one is temperature changes on the earth now the instrumental observations over the past 157 years show that temperature at the surface have risen 
not have gone down have risen globally for the global average warming in the last century has occurred in two phases 1910 to 1940 it is 0.35 degree centigrade and more strongly from 1970 to the present 0.55 degree centigrade the instrumental records show that a global mean surface temperatures have increased by 0.74 degree centigrade over the period between 1906 and 2005 here global mean surface temperature means both lithosphere and hydrosphere the solid portion liquid portion that is the land portion and oceanic portion average is 0.74 degree centigrade this is rising not falling that is increase however warming has been most pronounced over the land masses and northern latitudes higher northern latitudes now on an average since 1956 the rate of increase of uh, temperature is 0.13 degree centigrade the average temperature of the global ocean has also increased to a depth of just to hold your breath up to 3 kilometers into the ocean 3 kilometers 300 meters imagine 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 so that much of uh, water He is getting warmed up, not cooling up. This is not good, not good at all. Minimum temperatures have been increasing at approximately twice that of the maximum temperature. What exactly does it mean? In a day, maximum temperature attains around 230 or 215 in the afternoon. Minimum temperature occurs just before the sunrise. So, the minimum temperatures. are increasing at approximately twice that means night time temperatures are increasing twice that of the maximum temperature which is uh, really very very uncongenial for crops why i will tell in another class okay of our climate change only now this is uh, as far as temperature changes on earth is concerned coming to the precipitation changes precipitation means rainfall as far as tropics are concerned it may be snow sleet some other forms in the higher uh, latitudes now the changes are occurring in the amount intensity frequency and type of precipitation or rainfall widespread increases in heavy precipitation events have been observed there are also increases in some regions in the occurrence of both droughts and floods okay now in the areas of mid to high latitudes an increase in the frequency of more intense precipitation events are occurring and these are posing most serious challenges for agriculture in the mid to high latitudes so to sum it up precipitation rainfall okay so the changes are occurring in amount intensity frequency and type now the third one is uh, extreme event changes on the earth what are the extreme events as i said droughts floods cyclones these are all the extreme events now as far as uh, extreme event changes on the earth are concerned the number of heat waves have increased since 1950 if you take the number of warm nights have increased the droughts have also increased the precipitation over the land has marginally decreased this is again a major concern the precipitation occurs rainfall occurs not only on the land not only on the land but also on the oceans human beings live on the land the rainfall over the land has marginally decreased it is a serious concern again for human beings and agriculture generally heavy daily precipitation events that lead to flooding have increased this is again not good for both crops and human being 
Now, so let us go to greenhouse gases changes on the earth. Most of the recent warming is due to human activities. As I said, at least four or five times I told in the first class, again one or twice I told in this class. Land use change and fossil fuel burning are the causes of uh, human activities. Now, most of the recent warming is due to human activities. It is, they are associated with increasing atmospheric concentration of greenhouse gases, particularly carbon dioxide. Now, the carbon dioxide was uh, before the pre-industrial uh, revolution, otherwise uh, pre-industrial uh, revolution level were up around 280 parts per million by volume. Now, at the current level, it is 280 had gone up to 380 parts per million by volume. This is uh, never seen on the on the earth in its existence at least 20 million years if you take the co2 concentration has never gone to these levels now a significant contribution to atmospheric uh, greenhouse gas loading also comes from methane of course the other things i told a few times carbon monoxide, hydrofluorocarbon, perfluorocarbons, etc. Now, the next point uh, as far as uh, the summary of evidence of climate change is concerned, the evidence is also coming from sea level rising. Okay, the global sea level gradually rose in the 20th century and it is currently rising at an increased rate not decreased rate it is rising rising and rising at an increased rate the two major causes of global sea level rise are thermal expansion of oceans and loss of land based ice due to increased melting why increased melting is occurring because of the increase in the temperatures of both air and soil so the sea level has been rising at a rate of 3 millimeters per year. This is again causing the disasters what I explained to you in the climate change basics one that is environmental refugees. Okay. Now to sum up our class I would like to once again uh, just uh, inspire you that we tried to understand what are the global warming and greenhouse effect what is the summary of evidence of climate change with small subheadings like temperature changes on that precipitation changes on that extreme event changes on that the sea level rising greenhouse gases particularly 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 carbon dioxide from 280 to 380 ppm, sea level rising 3 millimeters per hour. So, we meet in basic climate change 3 in the next class. Thanking you, thanking you, thanking you. Please do not forget to share the content with your classmates and friends. To share your knowledge, to share what we discuss. May God bless you.